Today we're going to start with monkfish, gem tomatoes, yellow onion, garlic, unsalted butter, coconut milk, and some assorted spices. We'll get into that later. But we're going to start off today by just, you know, cleaning up here. We don't need everything on the board at the moment. Let's get it all out of the way. And then we're going to grab our tomatoes and start breaking them down. We're going to cut them in half and then just nib that little bit of, you know, tough stuff out of there. We're going to get that done with all our tomatoes. We're making a lot of sauce today. Now, the amount of sauce that we're making will be good for later on, too. You don't have to just only use it for this recipe. Now, we're going to dice those tomatoes, cut them in half, and then just cut them in about eight pieces each half. We're just going to break that down nice and easy. And then we're just going to get that all out of the way. Get your tomatoes in a bin. And then we're going to start working on our onion. Cut that directly in half, nib off the top, and then peel the excess skin off of it. Then you're going to just run your knife parallel to the onion. Not completely through, but to the end of the nib. And then you go ahead and chop your onion. Minced up quite nicely. And we'll get that all in a bowl as well. And then we'll follow that up with some garlic. Smash, peel, and then mince. Lovely. Throw that into the bowl with the onions. And then we'll get our pan ready to receive vegetables. We'll take out some butter, get about two tablespoons in there, and then let it go, get melted. Lovely dance around the pan. And there we are, nice and melty. And then we're gonna take our onions and garlic, right there, and we're gonna chuck them in the pot. And give a little seasoning of salt and some olive oil. And then we'll just mix that all together and let it ride until it's nice and sweated out. Like that. Lovely. Now we're gonna just go ahead and grab our tomatoes, all those there, and we're gonna throw that into the pan as well. Now we're gonna wanna mix that all up, get it nice and married, and then we're gonna start working on our seasonings. We got cumin, coriander, some ancho chili flake, more of a powder, and then some turmeric, and some green peppercorns. Now, one at a time, starting with the cumin, we're gonna use a decent amount of cumin today. Then we're gonna go for our coriander, just a pinch of the coriander, nothing too crazy. Then we're gonna go for our ancho. We want a lot of this, we wanna just, you know, give some heat to this dish, so, you know, by your preference. And then just a touch of turmeric and then some green peppercorns scattered throughout as well. Fantastic. Lovely colors in the pan. And then we're gonna go ahead and close all our situations up here. And we're gonna clear them off the board. And then we're gonna go in and give all of that a nice healthy stirring. Just to incorporate all those flavors, mix it up, and then go ahead and cover that with a pot lid. And then let it go and steam for a little while. But while you're doing that, you'll grab out your fish and you'll move it over to a nice little plate for seasoning. Get rid of that dish. And then we're just gonna go in with a nice light amount of sea salt. Sorry, kosher salt. Even layers on both sides. Nice, spread out, consistent. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our tomato mixture and switch the pan out for our fry pan. Now, so now we're gonna grab a half a tablespoon of butter, throw it in there, move it around, let it get happy and melt. Now that we got our butter melted, it's time to incorporate our fish. So we're gonna go ahead, turn around, Grab our fish, move over to the pan. We're gonna place it just lovingly on the pan and just move it around. And that'll create a nice little already cooked layer so your fish won't stick too heavy to the pan as it's cooking. Now, I'm just gonna scooch that like that. And you know, this is better for the shot, so we're just gonna move it like that. 
and then we're gonna let our monkfish go ahead and cook up. Now, while all that's happening, we're gonna get out a processor. We're using a Nutribullet here. And this is gonna be for our sauce. We're gonna get out a blade and a cup, and then we'll go ahead and move over our fish so we can show you how it looks when it's ready to get mixed up. Lovely. We're gonna grab that all, and we're gonna move it over to get it ready to process. Now we're gonna scooch our fish back over so you guys can see when we flip it. And we're gonna do that right about now. Just get under there with a fish spatula and just, you know, let it sit on the other side and finish cooking. Now we're gonna go in and start processing our sauce. So we're gonna grab a spoon and get all of that nice saucy stuff in there. Make sure to get every little bit. And then, you know, cap it off with the blade put it on to the Nutribullet and go ahead and process it. Nice, smooth, lovely. There we are. Fantastic. Now we're going to clean up our board, get rid of that. And then we're going to take our fish, which is done cooking at this point, And then we'll move it over. We'll grab our sauce, throw it back in our large saute pan. And then we'll just let that go on the heat for a little while, but we will give it a little stir and get it ready for some coconut milk coming up next. We're gonna go ahead and use our can opener to get into that. I realized I didn't shake it up in the can, so I'm gonna pour it into one of these cups and shake it up. And then I'll go back there and just pour the entire can into that sauce. Lovely. Now, mix it well, because you need to incorporate it nicely in order for those flavors to mix. Get in there, mixy, mixy, mix. And then once it's all nice and mixed together, we're going to throw a little bit of salt in there. Stir that up as well. And then we're done. That's a nice looking sauce, isn't it? Now we're going to take our fish, our monkfish, and we're just going to place it lovingly inside that sauce. And then we're going to go ahead and baste that monkfish in that sauce just to incorporate all that flavor into that nice piece of fish. And then we're there. We'll set up our bowls for plating. We'll get out a small little thing for slicing. We'll put our monkfish on that little thing right there. And then we'll go in with our knife, slice it directly in half, because we are doing two portions here today. And then we'll place, ooh, look at that, perfectly cooked. We'll place those in the bowls. And we'll get rid of that cutting board and then we'll come in with our sauce lovely and we'll just spoon that on top of the fish fantastic guys doesn't that look great and now I feel like this needed just a bit of extra freshness so I grabbed some parsley out of the fridge move that over I'm gonna cut the stems off here I just want to put the leaves on it and then just you know quickly mince up some leaves And then when you're done with that, you can go ahead go ahead and sprinkle, sprinkle. Lovely. And there we are, guys. We have two beautiful pieces of monkfish in a tomato curry sauce. Top with fresh chopped parsley. Enjoy. So there it is, guys. We got a nice monk fish with tomato curry. Um, yeah, feel free to make any changes if you want. If you don't have specific things, you can swap them out for others. But yeah, let us know how you go about it in the comments below. And if you want to see anything else being cooked, let us know in the comments too, and we'll get around to that. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends, family, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, all those things. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.